spend the day with me at my desk. Of course, my days of painting at my desk felt like any other day I have to set up. I decided to light some incense today because I wanted some extra peace of mind, I guess. <laughs> My setup for painting is pretty much all the same. It doesn't really change, it doesn't really move, it's just, it is what it is. I do find myself needing more space at this time because I am running out of places to put my canvases. So that's a problem. To get started with the painting, either I already have a sketch that I have out already, and then I choose the colors that I think would best suit either the vibe that I'm feeling or the vibe of the painting idea that I had. I get my laptop, I get my music going, and I look through my past sketches just to see if I have any other references I'd like to use. And of course, since I am but a singular person, I can't paint things multiple times, so I have to film on my phone and my camera at the same time. This day in particular ended up being kind of hot and a little bit too sunny that I couldn't see. So I had to pull down the blind so I could actually function as a person and see what I was painting. Because look, isn't that so much better? I do find myself getting quite absorbed in my paintings, which is a good thing. But I also sometimes feel like I wish I could paint a little bit faster so that I could paint a little bit more. Because I fully intended to paint like on a canvas today, but that did not happen. But I do like where this painting is going. It's definitely a little bit different. I tend to lean more towards the darker colors, but it's fine. Oh, there's me. I usually find myself gravitating towards the darker colors because I like doing stars and things like that and those show up very nicely on darker colors. But as a person, I very much like pastels, light colors, lightness, you know? But it's not something that I gravitate towards painting, which I think is interesting. And then it started to get hot, so I had to turn my fan on. So that's the sound in the background, I'm sorry. I couldn't do anything about it, it's too hot. I can't drown out, I don't know how to fix it in editing, so there it is. I'm just doing my best. And then I decided to add some more small details with this brush, and it's actually a nail art brush. I find that the nail art brushes are way thinner. I haven't found a thinner brush, but the nail art brushes are really thin, and they work superbly for those small, star-like, tiny, 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 tiny details. And here we go, the finished look of the painting. Love how he's looking. Oops, yeah. Thumb wave. Thumb up the wrong way. <laughs> and then I had a small snack. A quick night snack. A quick midnight snack. <laughs> and look at this. This is how my camera looks when it's up on the ceiling. I don't have a mount, and I don't. I need. I need to figure out something better because obviously the tape is just janky. Now that I've had my break, I can now move on to another painting. I was feeling very energized today because I was able to do two paintings. And I wanted to do similar colors. I was trying to really, like I said, dive into more of the lighter colors because I do like the lighter colors. And I need more practice with them to make them look how I want them to look when I do the dark colors. You feel? You feel. <laughs> I will say that something I'm learning as I figure out what my art style is, because to be honest, I don't know if I have an art style or if I do, uh, please tell me, but I am learning that I don't have to blend everything. And that's completely new territory for me because I used to think I had to blend everything and then it wasn't good art unless it was completely blended. But now I'm starting to realize the beauty and the unblended parts of my paintings. And they honestly make me a little bit more excited than the blended bits. Like, the, the way the colors just shine through. I'm eating it up. I'm eating it up. I hope you're eating it up too. <laughs> and yes, I am diagnosed with not that short, but short enough I need to lift up my chair. So I had to raise the heights on my chair to be able to see what I'm doing. Otherwise, my painting is at the same, almost at eye level with me as I'm sitting. Because my chair is too tall and my, and my, no, my desk is too tall and my chair is too short. What a fun dilemma. 
and one of the creme de la creme pieces of painting is adding in those small highlights. I love that bit. I also like splattering too and making stars and I also like adding the colors and then I messed uh, up. Oh, I thought everything was ruined but I just wiped it off thank god and it worked out fine. But yeah adding stars is one of my favorite bits of painting. I do wish that I had a different signature though sometimes. You know, it's, it's something fresh, but no, it's the same every time. But here we go. She's gorgeous. I love the colors on her. I'm really proud of her eyelashes too. I do think her hair could have been a little bit better, um, like a little bit more volume on top now that I'm looking at it, but you know, we learn, we live and you learn. <laughs> and now it is time to clean up for the day because even though it looks bright here, the sun is dipping and dipping quick. I scrape off my paint, I put my paints away, and then I put my painting away after I make sure that it's actually dry. Because many a time I've actually put painting away and it's not dry and it sticks to the opposite page and then when I have to rip it open and it hurts my heart a little bit. But anyway, this one was actually dry so it's fine. <laughs> Cleaning up definitely makes me feel a little bit more accomplished at the end of the day, but you know, I don't do this every day. I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> and actually now it's night time! It might not look that dark, but anyway, I've already had dinner, I've showered, done the whole thing, and now I'm eating my snack, my quick midnight snack, bowl of cereal. And my sister decided that she wanted to do her work in my room, so I let her. It's fine. And then after she was done, I needed to get to work on my work which was planning out my schedule and content for the next week, the coming week or the next month. Also brainstorming different ideas that I've had while filming because when I'm filming and when I'm painting, sometimes ideas or when I'm listening to music, music inspires me the most and I get different ideas. So I have to write them down before I forget them because if I forget them, I'll be sad. And then I'll be like, oh my God, I'm pretty sure there was a painting I wanted to do, but I don't remember what it was. That sucks. So just write it down. And then that's pretty much it. I clean up for the day and I turn the lights off and now you spend a day with me at my desk. <laughs> See you in the next one.